Hi from Piero, Technical Director of SecPoint. I'm excited to announce the release of firmware 56 of the Penetrator, our industry-leading vulnerability scanner. The latest update includes three major improvements that many of our customers have been asking for. The first one is pause and resume a scan. You can now pause a scan in progress and resume it later, which is especially useful for larger scans that may take several hours to complete. Let's take a look at this scan for example. If you want to pose a specific target while the scan is running, you have to simply press this button. Once the button is pressed, the scan of that target will enter a pause state and the scanner will stop performing new attacks on the target. However, any ongoing probes will be completed before pausing. The new scan state is visible in column Progress and the only action available when a scan is paused is to resume it by pressing this button. If a scan, as in this case, includes multiple targets, the scan state on the home page will still appear as processing. This is because the scan contains two more targets that are being audited. When a scan doesn't contain any more running scans, the state on the home page will be paused. It is important to note that a whole scan cannot be paused at once. However, if you want to resume a paused scan, you can do it by pressing this button on the home page. And please take into account that if the unit is powered off, any paused scan will be terminated and powering on the unit again, the paused scan will be marked as connection lost. The second feature we have added is the subdomain finder. The subdomain finder allows you to search for all subdomains of a given domain, providing a greater visibility of your organization's online presence and potential attack surface. The feature is available when starting a new vulnerability scan. When you add a domain name as a target, a new subdomains button will appear on the right side of the screen. By pressing this button and confirming the action, a search for all the subdomains of the given domain will begin. The search may take several minutes to complete, depending on the number of subdomains. Once the search is complete, all the subdomains found during the process will be automatically added to the list of targets for the current scan. It is important to note that the search may also uncover domains that begin with www or different aliases of the same subdomain. If any duplicate domains are found, you can easily remove them from the list. And you will note here that the subdomains button will only appear for top-level domains. This means that if you enter the name of a subdomain, the button will not be available and the search will not be possible. The last feature I'm going to talk about is a function reserved to SuperAdmin user, the SuperAdmin dashboard. This dashboard enables system administrators to view the scan results of all users in the system. This can be particularly useful when an administrator used to check for unexpected scan results or analyze a false positive scan for another user. To access this feature, go to multi-user super admin dashboard. This function is only available to the super administrator who is the master administrator user that is built in by default in the system. No other administrator user can perform this action. The super admin dashboard displays the entire list of scans in the system for all users sorted by date. By clicking on the scan names, 
you can view the scan targets and the vulnerabilities in details down to the information retrieved on the target for each vulnerability. It is important to note that this feature does not allow for any changes to be made to the scan or any other action on behalf of the user. I hope you are excited about the new features in the Penetrator. If you want to learn more, you can download the release notes document from our website. Don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any questions or feedback. Thank you for watching this video and bye bye for now.